Hey guys, this is Wacko Lab, and I'm back with another LEGO tutorial, finally. And before I go into any details, I just need to say a couple of things. You might have already seen this tutorial on another YouTube channel, but I know the person in real life who ever made this, who, who made this, and um, uh, he is actually um, going to delete his YouTube account because he didn't have many views at all and for other reasons but um he really liked this tutorial and so did i and only had like a hundred or two views i think and i think it deserved a lot more views than that and he wasn't making any profit off of it so i agreed that I'd put it on my channel form so you guys can see this awesome tutorial because it only had very few hundred views and uh we we're gonna have profit sharing on this so whatever i make on here it's gonna go like 50 50 with him so anyway um here we go with this tutorial. Let me go into some details first. Um, there's not that many details, but it is a pretty awesome tutorial. I mean, a pretty awesome arcade machine. As you can see in the back, it has some laser blasting action, it looks like, with a joystick. And, uh, and some buttons back there. And there's some vents on the side and vents on the top. Because you know how ventilated those old arcade machines needed to be. And it has some cool blue stripes, and it's basic, but in the same sense, it is totally awesome. But anyway, let me show you the pieces you're going to need for this Be Awesome Lego Arcade Machine. Be Awesome means Beyond Awesome. Alright, so here's the pieces you're going to need, and before you say, whoa, those are a lot of pieces, I'm not sure I'm going to have all those pieces, I'm going to let you know that if you're an amateur Lego collector, you should have pretty much all these pieces. Anyway, so, um... You're going to need two of these 1x2 bricks here, just regular 1x2 bricks. And then you're going to need four of these 1x2 uh, bricks with grooves in the side running vertically and horizontally. And um, you can substitute those for regular bricks if you need to, regular 1x2s, but I preferred using those. And then you're going to need three of these 2x4s. Then you're going to need a 1x4 flat. Preferably one with a sticker on it. To uh, kind of give the, because that's going to be like the title of the arcade machine pretty much. Or you can just have a regular one, I guess. And, but it's 1x4 flat smooth back there. But this one is a 1x4 flat with humps on the top. And then you need two of these 1x2 pieces, 1x2 flats. Then you're going to need an antenna piece. This 1x4 and one by two piece uh, flat pieces combined kind of thing I've heard this called a license plate piece because <coughs> it's commonly used for back of cars for the license plate or even headlights really but anyway then you need this one by two edging piece right here and then you're going to need this two by two downward slant piece and it needs to have like control panels on it and preferably a screen well it pretty much needs a screen like mine did with that uh, aimer on it and then you're going to need this 1x2 great piece and then you're going to need these uh, 1 by one, two 1 by one bricks then you're going to need two upward slant pieces two 2x2 two, two two upward slant pieces then you're going to need two 1x2 <coughs> uh, downward slant pieces then you're going to need a 2x2 two two flat and two 4x4 four four flats. <coughs> um, one black and one blue. And then you're going to need this 4x4 four four hood piece. Alright, so you're going to need to start off by getting your 2x4 and another 2x4. So two 2x4s. Two and then you're going to get your 4x4 four four flat. And then you're going to put it on top of your two by fours and then you're gonna get your two by two flats and put it right in the center and then get your um, uh, screen piece here and uh, put it right on top of that <coughs> then you're gonna get your two one by two downward slant pieces put one here put one here and then you're gonna get your two one by twos and uh, one by ones one there, one there, just right on top of your 1x2 downward slants. 
And then you're going to get your antenna piece and your 1x1 flat smooth. And you're going to put 1x1 flat smooth right there. And you're going to put your antenna piece, in this case, your joystick, right there. And then you're going to get all four of your fancy 1x2 bricks. And you're going to have it where the vents go horizontally. So, in other words, left and right. So, just like that. And now you're going to have it where your... Um, oops, wrong piece. And wrong timing. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Make the vents run horizontally over here. <coughs> Sorry guys, I kind of have a little cough right now. Anyway, and then you're going to have your two 1x2 one by, uh, bricks, regular ones, without the grooves. And put it right in the back, like that. And then you're going to get your fancy edging piece here and you're gonna put it right there like that now you're gonna get your 1x2 flat right there other 1x2 flat right there 1x4 flat right in the back and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your 4x4 flats and you're gonna put it right. You're gonna get your sorry. You're gonna get your two by two flat. Uh, not two by two flat. Your two by two upward slant piece. And you're gonna put it right here. And you're gonna get your other one. Put it right beside it, neighboring it. Then you're gonna get your other two by four. And you're gonna put it right behind it, like that. Then you're gonna get this fancy piece right here. And you're going to put it right here on the edging right there. And then you're going to get your hood piece, car hood piece, 4x4 car hood piece, and put it right there. And then you're going to, and you can see that there is like a little spot in the roof where this just fits right in like that. Make it flush. Then you're just going to put it like that. Now you're going to get your great uh, 1x2 great piece put it on top of that. And you're going to get your uh, 1x4 flat smooth with a cool sticker if you have one. And put it right there. And then you're going to get this and set it right on top of that. Just like that. And that is how you build your really cool Lego arcade machine that is completely scale with a minifigure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go try this thing.